beautiful ashes reaching out to the world of the heartbroken and the destitute through physical and spiritual rehabilitation, professional and pastoral counseling, rebuilding hope through the Word of God and personal life experiences. Beautiful Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation with Stella Azamadia. Every Thursday at 10 a.m. East African time on Spirit TV, a place for you. Beautiful Ashes is made possible by the grace of God and Kingdom Finances. Wonderful people, I just want to welcome you all to Beautiful Ashes, the viewers program made possible by Kingdom Finances. Thank you so much for always looking forward to this program. My name is Stella Azamadia and this is our second month of Beautiful Ashes here on Spirit TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. I've re been receiving feedback of those people who are watching this program, wherever you are, in your home, maybe in your bedroom, at your place of work, or you're listening in or viewing accidentally. This is beautiful ashes. The beauty is your miracle. The light at the end of the tunnel, being able to overcome any situation while the ashes are the silent and loud frustrations that you and I go through. And beautiful ashes is here to reach out to the world of the heartbroken and the destitute through physical and spiritual rehabilitation, professional and pastoral counseling, and rebuilding hope through the word of God. And our mission is to rescue an endangered generation. No matter what is happening in your life, God has best plans for you and he has the last say. There's a saying that he who laughs last, laughs best very powerful there like I told you we shall always begin by commanding our morning decreeing and declaring over our morning this is the day the Lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad indeed we are blessed on every side sickness and disease is not our portion amen you are blessed on every side last week we had uh, Priscilla that is Mrs. Seven studio by the congratulations Priscilla she gave birth I think two days ago to a bouncing baby girl. God is good. That is a powerful testimony altogether. Somebody who had had five miscarriages, disappointed. Today she's married. Now she has three babies. We give glory to God with only one tube. Isn't that powerful? God is awesome. He's a faithful God. And today is another day altogether. I have a wonderful woman with me here. You're most welcome woman on the front line. Thank you, Mama. Thank <laughs> you, know, you so much. <laughs> you know, we call her woman on the front line, but she's called, uh, maybe she'll, she'll introduce herself. <laughs> yes, I, I'm Mrs. Jimba Doreen. Mm. Mrs. Jimba Doreen, aka woman on the front line. Mm. Yeah, that, that's my name. And I am a member of Beautiful Ashes. You're pastored by Pastor Stella Zamadia. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. You're most welcome woman on the front line. Thank she, you, Mama. She has a very powerful testimony. You could tell all those uh, friends of yours who are going through issues in their marriage and they could seem discouraged, thinking like quitting and say, uh, I know I'm giving up on this marriage, I'm giving up maybe on the relationship or any other issue. And if somebody has hit the rock bottom, you need to listen to somebody who has gone through certain things and they have overcome as well. Yes, woman in the front line, Doreen, you, you got married at a young age. What caused you to get married at a young age? I think the situations at home, mm. uh, being in, a, a, in a, a broken family, my mother and my father divorced when we were still very, very young. Mm. So we grew up uh, with maids, we had no uh, parents. We, when they divorced, our mother died. Mm. Sorry. She died and we remained with our father, but still he left us. Mm. He went and married another woman, so we stayed. Uh, we, we, we always stayed with me. So growing up in challenges, going through so many things. Mm. Uh, when I, I reached senior four, I had just finished my senior four. That's when I met my husband now. Mm. That's when we met, uh, we began to, to, to move out together to date. Mm. And eventually it turned into marriage. And we started staying together when I was in senior five. Wow. So you started staying together when you were in senior five. Uh, mm -hmm. Did he first introduce you? Did Oh, you just, uh, he, he, for all the years you were staying together without all that? 
Uh, we were just staying together for all the years. We are just staying together. You know, the, the, the other side in the world, they are, there is always things that are done. Mm. And the things that side is different from the church. Mm. During that time, I was not yet born again. Mm. Uh, uh, and we just started together, uh, we just cohabited. Mm. We stayed together for over 10 years, because uh, we, we, we introduced after 10 years of marriage and, and officially got married in church after 10 years in marriage. But during that time, I'd now met Christ. I'd come to the side of light, but mm. But the first years, we were just cohabiting. Okay. You know, we have a program in Beautiful Ashes called Making Your Marriage Work. As you got married, married at a young age, can you just walk us through how this marriage was? Wow. Uh, I must say it wasn't easy because uh, uh, being uh, just a young girl, uh, not being prepared for marriage, mm. It comes with so, so many challenges along with it. So I encountered so, so many challenges. And uh, remember, I was from a broken family. I had nobody to speak to me. Mm. I had no one to prepare me. So I encountered so, so many challenges. And uh, I, must, uh, I must say that, that most of the challenges that, that I went through was because I was not prepared. Okay. I didn't know how to handle certain things. I didn't know how to handle this and that. Sometimes even uh, cooking would be a problem, uh, but I, I must say it was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy. <laughs> the first years, you know, when you begin off in a relationship, you, you're just dating this person. All you do is go out, eat from everywhere. Mm. You do all the things that you need. But when it comes to marriage, this is when seriousness comes in. Mm. For me, the first times I, I, I encountered marriage, I thought it, uh, it was the usual way. The way that people <laughs> go, used out. To go out. Yeah, going out, uh, going to the beach. Do you know that in marriage there's a point in, in time and you, you find that there's no even time for going to the beach? <laughs> there's no even time for, for, for your spouse to know what is happening to you. Mm. You know, time came and things really changed. The moment I settled that this is my time for me to settle with this person, oh wow, that's when I got to know the person I was. I was with. But during the time of courtship, going up and down, you know, so many things are hidden during that time. Mm. But when you get together to this person, you're staying together day and night, you're seeing each other. Oh God, it, it, it was not easy. It was not easy. It was not easy. Uh, um, you know, you know, the, you know. There's where I, there, there's where I want you to go. I know there are people out there mm -hmm. who are going through situations along the way in your marriage. You discovered mm -hmm. that your husband had not told you about some children. Yeah. How 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 did that happen? Can you tell us about that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, like I said, if you're staying with this person, that's when you get to know certain things. So the more we moved on, by the way, it took, it took some good years. Did, did you get to know about it before you got married? I, no, I didn't. He didn't tell you that? He didn't tell me about the children. I remember the times, the times that we used to go out. He would even tell me, I want you to be the, the mother to my children. Mm. I don't have any children and I want you to give me children. Mm. Uh, you are the woman I love. You are the woman I want to have children with, to be with for the rest of my life. You can, you can imagine that, the security you feel mm. when this person is telling you, I want you to give me the first children, my, my first daughter or first son. Mm. I want you to give me children. I don't have any. I, I, I remember one time he told me that uh, my friends, my, my friends have children. I feel so lonely when I'm with them because me, I have no children. Mm. You can imagine that. And I was so expectant. I was so, so expectant. I, I remember that, that day I had my first daughter. When I had my first daughter, wow, you know the signs he showed me were just evident that he has no other children oh, out wow. there. Yeah. The care, he was there. I must say he was there. But during the pregnancy there, I began to see some changes mm. during the first pregnancies. I began to see him being on and off, on and off. I, I, I began to see but, him but changing a bit. But even there, you, you could not, you, did, but you, you I, had not known that he has I, I had not the known. children out. I had not known that maybe he has children out. I had not known that, but there were some changes. I, I, in fact, during my first pregnancy, that's when I began to, I began to see challenges in marriage. Mm. That's when I began to see uh, um, 
himself means somehow passive. Mm. Uh, you, you feel like talking to him, but it, it, sometimes I would sing like in a, in a flooded in so many problems, mm. but he would not want to expose them to me. I, but I did know that he, there was even issues of children out. Mm. I did know that. I, I thought I was giving him the first child the first daughter but during that time of giving birth I, I, I must say he was there he was there for me and I remember one of my in-laws his sister she was in the hospital and and she was uh, trying to speak it out to all the nurses oh this is our first daughter this is our first daughter <laughs> and you know that confidence that you get <laughs> that confidence this is the first daughter this is the first daughter Oh God, <laughs> by the time I came to know that he had children, I, I, I even got to know that these children even stayed with that same sister of his. Oh no. So it, it was so, so challenging. You know, you know, the trust you begin to lose in someone. I began to lose trust in all his relatives, all his friends, everyone around him, his friends. I knew they had hid this from, from me for such a long time. Sorry about I began that. to lose trust in them. And when I got to know that really he had children, I lost hope in him. Hmm. I, I don't know what I felt, the bitterness, the hatred that okay. I had in me. I think, I think we've, we've gone a little in front because mm. uh, these, I remember, did these kids come in before the wedding? Did you get to know before the wedding or after the wedding? Mm, um, some of the signs came before the wedding. Uh, one time a lady comes in uh, when it was only two weeks to the introduction. There came a lady. I, I was. Uh, I was in, during that time. I was in Bible College. So the the lady I had left at home who washes my clothes, who used to wash for me during those mm, days clothes, mm. told me there is a lady who came with two children here, but I don't know what she really wanted. And I said, Oh, what is that? I think the second time they came in, Mami, that's when I told you and you came. Mm. That's when I told you that they have brought children in my home. The first day I didn't see the lady. Maybe she, she, when she realized that I was not there, she went back with the children. I think that, that, that second time, was it after the wedding? After the wedding. Mm. That's when she came in with the children and she said, I'm tired of staying with these children. I'm tired of feeding them. I'm surrendering them to you. And were those children older than the ones you have or younger? They were older. That, the, that lot? Yeah. They were older. That lot, they were older than mm -hmm. mine. Mm -hmm. They were older than mine. So, like, how, how, like, how did you take it? You know, there could be people going through mm. that same situation mm. and maybe they have given up on their marriages. Mm. Now, you've discovered mm. there are two kids they are brought to you. Mm. Did you continue doing good in your f marriage? Did you quarrel with your husband? For sure what happened that even when they brought in the children, I, I thought he expected that I, was, that I was going to fight with him, that I was going to quarrel. But I don't know how the Holy Spirit comforted me. Because when I came back home, I, I felt my spirit was at peace. Amen. It was at peace. I looked at the children. And, and how old are these were these children then? The first girl was in senior six. She was finishing her senior six. And I think that the, the boy was in P5. Mm. Somewhere there. P5, P6. But when I looked at them, you know, uh, my, my husband trying to tell me that that boy is not mine. But when you could look at the boy, you would see my, re my husband's face on this young man. You would see that this is really his son. Mm. I, but he was trying to, to, to cover it up, that that boy is not my son. And I told him, it's not an issue about you being the father to the son. It's about you taking your responsibility as a father. Mm. And I, I told him, yeah, for all these years, if you've kept this a secret, that means you've been able to, to provide for these children wherever they have been. Sure. You've been able to provide for them. Whatever happened between you and the mother, that you've reached to a level of not wanting to provide for them, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to, 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 to involve myself into that. Mm. But what I want you to do is to take care of your children. Because they are your children, I cannot change it. They are your children, educate them, do your part as a parent. Just, just being a little more transparent, le, le, just walk me through. Mm. Now, I imagine these kids have come. Mm. 
what did you stop just being a little honest mm. did, did your life continue normally doing uh, whatever you're supposed to do in the bedroom mm. did it continue normally did you withhold anything did you stop cooking for him i uh, know i did what, what what was the driving factor one thing i i i, I realized that i came to know that this lady bringing in the children uh, maybe the issue is not with the father giving them giving them provisions and the needs they need but maybe she's trying to attack me mm. i knew that this this was a moment for me to stand strong wow. for me when i saw the children coming in for all those years i had been with my husband in the same home i had never seen them come 10 years 10 years i had never seen them come so me what i knew at the back of my mind i knew this was now the enemy fighting through this woman mm. you know women when they see that the man has now decided to marry you off to officially make it to, to make it official I, I think they, 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 they felt the insecurity in them. Mm. They knew that maybe I had taken over everything. And I knew this was the enemy attacking me through this lady. So what I did, I, I told God, I'm going to, write to fight this battle in a good way. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good way. In a good way. I'm going to fight it in a good way. Mama, do you know that I even got my money? Because these children had been brought in without clothes. I bought them clothes. Wow. I remember during those, those days, you know, after the wedding, my, my husband, someone stole his money. He had given someone some money and he was to repay it 2.5 M. The person stole the money, he went through so many things and he had nothing in his wallet. So it was me buying the food. But I don't remember not giving the children food. I wow. gave them food, I took care of them. Do you know that it took only one week and these children were like, we are leaving this home. We are going back. But not because I was harming them. But maybe what they were told is not what they saw. Mm. So they say that they were like, okay, we are going back to our mother. We are going to stay with, with them. Because I didn't show them any bad stuff, anything bad. I just did what I had to do. And eventually they began calling me mom. Mm -hmm. you, said, you, said, you, you said after some years, you got married after 12 years, 11 years. Were they 11 years? 11, 10. Okay, after around 10, 11 years, mm. you got married. What did you do? Because there are very many people who are cohabiting. Mm. Maybe they, are, they have kids, two kids, four kids, five kids. Mm. And this man has never gone to their place. What happened? For you, it happened that in one month you were introduced and married. Mm. What did you do? Um, I, I must tell such people living in, in that kind of life, don't pressure your husband. If you're a lady, don't pressure him. What you have to do, just do the right thing just to do what you have to do if it is to care for your husband care for him even better than any other woman out there because i know it's not always easy for someone to decide to marry you after all those years maybe you are doing certain things maybe that from, from you, you pick you pick you pick a leaf from your from your experiences there mm. now during the course of all those years what exactly were you doing can you just be a little more practical okay uh, one thing I know, I've walked a journey of forgiveness, a journey of wisdom and understanding. Uh, or is, uh, um, the most of the, all the years that we've been together, I've understood my husband. I've understood my husband. I know when he's up and I know when he's down. So men, uh, men, when men see that they are living with people who really understand them, they will become secure and they will settle and relax and, uh, and settle and, and decide to marry them. I remember mama, even these other children who are in the middle of mine. We, shall, we, shall, we shall get to those ones. Okay. We shall. <laughs> I was trying to tell you, to, to compare how the other lady was handling things with me. But I'm trying to tell you that you, 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 you lady out there, if you want this man to marry me, first of all, understand your, mar your man. Understand him, do what pleases him. Do what he wants. Do whatever you're supposed to do and pray for him. I used to pray for my husband. I would wake up. I had a prayer altar at three every day. But that prayer altar was specifically for praying for my husband. Specifically? For praying for my husband. I wow. prayed for him. And I, when I began to do this, this praying for him, praying for him, there's a way we began to connect together. There is a way I would see him make right choices. Because 
during the first the, the, before I knew Christ, he could make everything. W one time I, I got him with a message in, in a, of a lady in his phone. Mm. Do you know when you get a message and first, the person just looks at you like this? Uh, what, what, what exactly was in the message? Oh baby, I just love what we had yesterday and you know all that. Someone mm. appreciated. Oh, oh, oh. Someone appreciated and I was like, who is this? Who is this? Oh, hey, hey. How, how do we call this? Oh. And the name was also oh. there. And I, I was like, I can imagine. Who is this person? You know the guy looking at me, eh? Like I'm, I'm, I'm rubbish, I'm shit. Eh? He looked at me, he weighed me up, and he moved out. In fact, he got a perfume, he spread on himself, he put on his best clothes, he moved out. Now, I can imagine, I can you imagine. You can imagine what just, I Just feel. tell me, just tell me what went on through your mind at that, at that moment. I began to, 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 to <laughs> I, I think he became a cameraman. <laughs> because every time he would come in, I would imagine what, what he's from doing. Even though he's not from that, for me, I, be, I began uh, making images every time. Every, but I began to lose hope. During those days, he was too stubborn. Do you know being too stubborn? And you feel like even surrendering to this person. He was too stubborn until I met a certain lady who told me, Doreen, you're going to fight. Amen. You're going to fight. You don't know what I've gone through my marriage. The lady had to tell me what she had gone through her marriage. Like we are telling someone today what we, had, we have gone through and we've overcome. The lady told me what she had gone through. After speaking to me, she told me, now I've told you, go back in your home and fight. Just a moment, what did that lady tell you? The lady told me, when, when she told me, my husband one time, I told him I was going to the village, but I was not going to the village. So... I went somewhere and it, because I, I had gotten a rumor that he brings in a lady every time I'm not there. So when I told him I'd gone to the village, eventually I didn't go, I went to my friend. So when it approached eight, I came back home. Coming back home, I found this young lady on my bed with my husband. Mm. When I knocked at the bedroom, my man started to shake. He began to shake. He told me, what have you come to do? And I told him, I'm back. I didn't go. I changed my programs. That's what the lady told you to do? That's what she told me. And she told me, for you, you saw only a message. For me, I found them red-handed on my bed. And she told me, what do you think I did? And what did she do? She told me, I just sat in the sitting room and told the young woman, please come out of my bed and go. Wow. She told me, I saw the lady shaking. And she got her clothes and ran out. But that was the turning point in my life. Because that is the time I got everything, even the land titles, even the bank, the, uh, uh, the ATM cards, I got them all. And that's how forcefully, I took possession. Oh, forcefully, oh, peacefully, peacefully, she told the husband, you know, honey, every time I'm away, I'm away, I see the things you're doing. You sleep with women, you spend a lot of money, and from today I want to take control of everything. <laughs> that was my first victory. <laughs> I took over everything. So she began to teach me certain things. Mm -hmm. And she told me, sometimes those, those periods that seem too hard are the periods for you to change things that you don't want in your life. Wow. And she sometimes was, those periods that are what? Which are too tough mm -hmm. are the periods for you to change some things that you don't want in your life. Wow. And she told me, go back and fight go back and fight. We are just done with the first half hour of Beautiful Ashes, listening to the story of uh, Doreen that is, we call her woman on the front line, cause uh, she's not that old, but the battles she has fought are like for a woman of 50 years plus. <laughs> we bless God so much for your story. When we shall get back, you will hear another chapter all together. Don't go away. from that short break 
Thank you so so much for staying around. It's still beautiful ashes here on Spirit TV. This program runs every Friday at 10 a.m. on Spirit TV. And remember, every other day, Monday through Friday, we have beautiful ashes here on 96.6 Spirit FM Kampala, and we are in the 40 days and 40 nights of prayer. And when the lockdown is lifted and they have allowed us to pray again, we shall be relocating our Friday overnights from Muganzi Raza to Tobani Center in the city. Tobani is found next to Nando's. We shall be having three Friday overnights and a day session every third Saturday of the month. We shall be having a trans day session. So we are praying. We know God answers prayers. He will make it happen for us. But in the meantime, we are praying from our homes and online as well. You can always catch us on our Facebook page that is Beautiful Ashes with Stella as a You can stream live there. If you've tuned in later, you can just follow this program on our on Spirit TV page or on our Facebook page that is Beautiful Ashes with Stella. Azamadia, thank you for staying around. I'm here with a woman on the front line. That's how we call her in Beautiful Ashes. Now, woman, yes, um, you know, there is somewhere where you hinted, where you're going to talk about mm. other kids. Mm. You had discovered the first set of kids. Then afterwards, mm. what happened again? How did the other, the other kids come in? How did you get to know about that? So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, apart from those ones that uh, are the first two, man, the first two, mm. the, 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 uh, time came and I came to know that there, there's also another set in between mine. <laughs> in between mine. So, uh, my for you, how many kids do you have? Me, I have four children. Four children. Yeah. I so know. you had ha in there was an addition of two. Those are six. Yes. And now there's an addition of how many? Two. Another set. So that set is in between there. It's in between there. Uh, do you know that that set also came uh, uh, came after? Yes, after the wedding. After the wedding. That's when the, the, another set <laughs> Imagine the first blow was those big ones. And you've overcome the big blow? I've You're making a marriage that work. One. And I'm making the marriage work. I'm trying to move on to accept that. And then there comes another seat that is in between yours. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think uh, every time I was pregnant, uh, the, the first, the, the, my first two pregnancies, that's when these ones came in. So he, he could use that time that I was pregnant and he runs to this other lady. Uh, uh, and I think this is the, I think, I remember when I, when I add everything up, when I saw the student, I think it was the lady who had sent him a message. It was a lady. One time, even before the student came in, I was with him and I saw a number that usually calls him, but the name was Office. <laughs> and I, and I, told him, I told him, who is Office? Which office do you have? Us, I've never seen you with an office. And he's like, ah ah. If it be the case, it doesn't matter. I, I was like, okay. And one thing that I always tell him is that there is nothing that can be hidden on earth. There is nothing that can be hidden. And I, I, I remember telling him, whatever is hidden in the secret will come out. Mm -hmm. So when these children also come in, <laughs> that I, I first kept quiet. I can imagine the look on your face. I, you, ca you can imagine. Do you, do you know how the children came? The mother got a border guy. And he told the border, because you know these women know everything about us. They know everything. So she knows even where I stay. She knows everything. Uh, during that time, my husband had gone to Mbarara. So he gets a border guy. Maybe he called the husband and they, they, they fought. And what she did, she said, let me send the children to his home. home. So I see a Buddha guy with a boy and a girl with a luggage. Mm -hmm. And I told the Buddha guy, uh-huh. But when I looked at the children, you know, for us ladies, we can know <laughs> that this is my husband's mess. So when I looked at them, I, I, I just saw these children look familiar. Eh? When you compare my children and the other children, you can see the, the image. 
You can see the image. When I looked at them, I just said, God, oh, this is another one. Mm. I called him and told him the children have been brought here. The children have been brought home. And what did he say? If she, if she feels she's tired of them, let, let us leave them there. That is what, the, that, that's, that was the answer. Mm. If she feels she's tired of them, let her leave them there. So he comes back home that day. What happened? When he came back, I told him, what is this? He was like, Nayakala Doko Gamba, I'm so sorry. This is this, this is this. But I left the lady. I left her. But I've been helping the children. I, I, I just missed. He was like, I just you know, missed. Woman, first blow the two children. Second blow, the other two children. The These are four two. children right now. Just tell me how you felt at that moment. I don't know what, what I really felt. Did you feel like backing out? What did you feel like doing? I, I'm backing out. That decision, I already made it. I'm not backing out. I already made that decision. Just like I handled the first thing. I just looked at the children and remember these ones are young. I just kept quiet. So you were with them in the house? Mm -hmm. I was with them in the house. I just kept quiet. And I don't know how he arose from nowhere. He was like, let me take them. And I told him, have I said anything about the children? Have I told you anything about the children? And I told him, told him, if the mother is tired of being with her children, okay, let me be a mother because I'm already a mother to them. I remember him telling me, they brought them during the, the, the first term, that the first time had already begun. So they are bringing in these children. Remember, I have to find a school for them. Mine are already, uh, are already going to school. And I told him there is no way my children can be at school and these children are seated here. We, are, we have to find them a school. He's like, find them any, any simple, simple school because I don't want to waste much money. I told him that is not fair. If my children are not in just any school and they are in a good school, we have to get them a good school. It's like, do whatever you want. And let me, just a moment. In all these things, in the, was there an apology somewhere now? These are the second babies. Because what I hear, do whatever you want. If you don't want to stay with the kids, I can take them away. You was know, there any remorse? Uh, time came here to, to go down. Time came here to go down. I, I believe the first reactions, he was trying to prove to me that he's a man. He tried to prove to me that he's a man. But what I did, like I've told you, for me, I know how to do things the right way. I did what I had to do in the right way. I got the children a place, I took them to school, and I told him, I don't care how much the school fees is, but I want you to take the school fees at school because I don't want to see them seated here. So I did my part and that's when I began to take full authority. I told him from today I'm the one commanding here. I'm going to command. Everything concerning this home, it's now me to command. And command I, commanding in which sense? In, in other words, what did you mean? I, 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 what I meant, I, 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 wanted, I told him, you want to prove to me that you're man, but the way, the way you're handling things is not the right way. This is a time for you to accept what has come your way. Okay. Accept what has come your way. If it is for taking care of these children, you're going to take care of them. And I told him, if it is to discipline them, I'm going to discipline them the same way I discipline mine. I told him, these children have come in here. The one thing I hate is that 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 why Zeka that men show. I, I don't want you ever to come and you check. Did they eat? Did they bathe? Did they do this? Did they do this? And I told him from the first place, these children being here is a sign that you don't have responsibility. So this is a time I have to show you that I'm the one taking over. So let them stay here. If they are staying here, I don't want their mother to come in and intervene with my plans. I don't want her to come in here and fight me. As she sent the children with a border border man, so I don't want her to come here. 
The only thing I want you to do is tell that mother that if she could not be a good mother, it is time for me to take care of her children <laughs> as a mother. So I don't want her to come in my home. The very day she will come in my home is the very day I will tell her to go with her children. <laughs> ah. So, so are, you, are you with the children right now? So I began to stay with the children. I took care of them. Mama, I, I think you saw the children, how they brought them. And by the time the mother came in to, inter to interfere with me, she came in to try to fight me. I took care of the children. I took them to good schools. I made sure they are coached. I made sure they are living the best way. I made sure that they are given the best. But you know what the mother did? One time, I was in my bed sleeping in the morning. She comes in. She's like, I've come to see my children. She came, she came home to your house? She came. I don't know. Every time this, this, these ladies uh, try to fight me, my husband was always away. So even that period he was in Barra. So the lady comes in in the morning. She's like, I want to see my children. I told her, you want to see your children? Are you the one who brought the children? Or it was a border, but a border man who brought the children. I called him and I told him, your wife is here. Over is your wife, over your what, your office. She's here. <laughs> what I want you, I remember what I told you. I told you I don't want this lady here. So he picks a phone, they begin to quarrel, they begin to fight. They, who told you to come in my home? Who gave you the right to come into my home? They began to fight. And the lady tells me, me, I only gave him my children because I was going through a trying moment. But now that I'm fine and all things are fine, I want my children. I told her, okay wait for them to finish this first term then you take them she's like me i want my children i told her it's okay talk to their father they talked and she went the next time she came i told her okay i think this is the right time you take your children now i've come to realize that you're now a mother take them <laughs> i told her take your children she took them and i told him so this is the last blow I don't expect any more children in my home now. If you have children there, take care of them from wherever they are, but not in my home. I'm tired of your cavalry. I don't want it again. Ah, from that day, that's when the ladies, I think they are now relaxed wherever they are. But it was not easy. <laughs> I must say it was not easy. That's a hard, that is what makes her woman on the front line. <laughs> After all these battles, by the way, Soon we are having single separation for marriage in Beauty for Ashes. She's part of that panel of single separation for marriage. So if you're going through anything in your marriage today, and it's not even close to, to that, sit down, go back and reminisce whatever she has said, and sort yourself out. Now, woman. Yes, ma'am. You know, we are, the program is almost coming to an end. Mm. Um, now, you, during the course of the break, you said you also have the land titles. You took the land titles, you took everything. How did you take all that? <laughs> of course, when you fight so many battles, you become a soldier. But I must, I must, I must not <laughs> say there's, there's a I reward for fighting. I, there is a reward for fighting. By the way, just really told me now I can trust you with everything of mine. So keep all things. In my house, I keep all things. I have the land titles. I have everything. I'm the one to, to, to say what to be done. He gave me all things. Even if you want an agreement for land, car, whatever you need, I'm now the one who keeps them. <laughs> Just tell me a few words. Just tell me some words your husband speaks about you. What does he say about you? What has he told you? After you, after you overcame all these battles. Most, most times he says the only place that is at peace is, is at home. And one thing, another thing he says about me, I'm a person he can trust with his finances. A person who can plan for him and a person who can never hide anything from him. That's what he says. But he's always proud of me. He's not proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> because he knows I've moved with him from thick and thin. I've been with him from all things. I've, I, I've been there to bear everything. A woman, you, you said uh, after you fought battles, mm. obviously there's a reward in fighting battles. Mm. You have a school, you're a director of a school. He goes what? Nasaran Primary School. He goes Nasaran Primary. How does it come into being? It's one of the benefits, what? <laughs> rewards. One of the rewards. 
<laughs> I must say it's one of the world. He invested his money in me. He gave me everything, the infrastructures, the land. It's a reward of fighting. So I must tell the ladies out there that please don't give up. Fight. There is greatness in that man, but it can only be brought out by you, the wife in the home. So fight. The enemy doesn't want to see people develop, so that's why he fights marriages so much. Uh, he believes in me, he trusts me. I, I remember on yesterday, but when I told him, ah, honey, what if I go abroad and work? He told me, for you, I gave you an investment. It belongs to you, I don't care about the finances, I don't care about the money, you know what you do and what you make with it. So, let me tell you, the enemy fights marriage is so much because you know when a marriage is united so many great things are burst so just stay in your position fight your battle don't give up on your man don't give up so many ladies ladies may come in to attack you to fight you but those are just uh, uh, you know you cannot compare an highway to those small roads in the villages. Feeder roads. Feeder roads. For me, I compare them as feeder roads. I, I imagine Entebbe Express Highway and you, you in comparison mm, to some mm. other road there. Mm. So your class is a highway. Mm -hmm. Your class is a highway. Just move on. Just move on. Time will come and you'll see those Philistines no more. Just fight that battle. So they are no longer, no longer Jebusites, no, Philistines, no more, Pazistites. No more Philistines. No more. Hallelujah. Jesus. If you try to bring out your head, we shall crush you like a serpent. <laughs> so... Just fight that battle, you can do it, you can make it. Don't give up on your husband, don't give up. Whether children are there, whether they are not there. Mm. Me, I know that I have my children. I have my children. Or was that day, it's okay, give birth to as many as you want. Me, I have mine. And I know they have to take their portion. So, lady, fight for what belongs to you. Fight for your marriage, fight for your children. Fight for your future and fight for your destiny. Wow. Um, woman. What word of encouragement do you have for somebody mm -hmm. that is watching right now? I would like to encourage those who have lost hope in marriage. That, like, um, our, our mission is, Beauty for Ashes is a, a very powerful ministry. And Mama, I must say thank you so much. You've trained us, you've trained us to fight. You've trained us to stand. And you've showed us that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You've taught us to hate divorce. You know, sometimes... I remember one time, it reminds mm. me, I just remember, remember one time when, when you were looking at me and like, you wanted to leave your marriage. Mm. And I told you, no, you don't know what I go through being single. Mm. Stay there. By then you had three kids. Yeah. And say, so, you know, I, I think... I should cross, cross over the other side. There's, there could also be somebody, maybe you're looking at me and say, oh my God, maybe how come she has made, she's seeing, this is my journey. Yeah. And one day I will get married. Yeah. So stay in your marriage. I told her to stay in that marriage. Today we have, hallelujah, Jesus. The first one there. The so, school is there. The, school. the titles are there. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just encourage somebody, woman. <laughs> so please, please. Uh, we are not married to angels, we are not married to saints. However much your husband is a bishop, a pastor, he has so many titles. I must say there are so many weaknesses in him. Just take your place, pray, believe God. Each and every day that passes by, just trust God in all your endeavors. Let God be at the center of your marriage. Let him be the, the one to take the will. Mm. So, just keep on praying. There, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. We have seen light. We have seen beauty. We, we, we came in this ministry when we had so, so many ashes. You people, you're just seeing us now. You don't know where we've come from. But we've come from afar. But we've seen the beauty of God. Keep on praying. Just get the word of God. Believe every day, every hour. You will see that God will really change everything about you. Amen. That is what they call beauty for ashes. When I look at Doreen where she was years ago and where she is right now, you know, I can testify to this story. Beautiful Ashes has been running uh, since 2009 from issues of her to Beautiful Ashes, but I've seen lives being transformed. So if you're going through any situation today, there is hope for a tree if it has been cut down at the sense of the waters. It will sprout again. Remember, we have singles preparation for marriage coming through. Maybe in the next two weeks, we shall start 
single separation for marriage. And remember, Beautiful Ashes runs Monday through Friday. That is from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And uh, every Sunday, I have a Sunday breakfast on our Facebook page. That is Beautiful Ashes with Stella Zamadia. Remember to like that page as well and listen in to Beautiful Ashes on 96.6 Spirit FM Kampala. Woman, kindly pray for some lady. Look into the camera and pray for some lady who is going through a difficult moment, maybe thinking of parking out. Oh, they just even had a rumor. Mm -hmm. Say, oh my God, oh my God. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm going. Or maybe they just had the lady is pregnant. Say, oh God, uh -uh. no, mm -hmm. no, I'm leaving. Just, just pray for some lady. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful moment that we've had in your presence. Yes. Yes, Lord. We thank you because we are not just telling our stories, but you're helping out so many marriages. Yes, Lord. I pray for a staying spirit upon all those who are about to pack and leave their homes. Yes, home. Lord. Father, we pray that you give them a staying spirit. Yes, Strengthen Lord. those who feel like falling down. Yes, Father, Lord. Father, may your hand lift every marriage that was at the age of falling. Yes, Lord. We decree and declare that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will establish you in that marriage. Mm. We pray for peace, harmony in your life. We pray that the God of our Father will comfort your heart. Yes. May the Lord comfort your heart. Yes. You have gone through so many challenges. You've heard a rumor. You've seen women uh, so, so many women sending in different texts. We pray that the Holy Spirit will comfort your heart. Yes, Holy Lord. Spirit, we thank you and we bless you that marriages are going to work. Marriages are not going to fail. The church marriages will be spoken of. Everyone Jesus. will admire our marriages yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord so much for this day. And to those of you whose marriages are going on well, remember to put your marriages at the altar. Amen. Always, always. In Beautiful Ashes, this is what I say. We had one divorce and it was final. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. No more divorce. God is faithful. He hates divorce. Those of you who are still single, you'd rather be single for five more years than spending the rest of your life in hell getting married to a wrong person. If it is not going anywhere, just let it go. It is okay to be single. It is okay to be single. God sees. Serve God. Love Him. He will bring you beautiful ashes. He will bring you the right person in your life. And if you'd like to get in touch with us, the numbers are 776 Zero four four six three six zero seven seven six zero four four six three six or zero seven five two zero four four six three six. Until we meet again, that is next week on Thursday here on Spirit TV at 10 a.m. God bless you so much. You can still follow us on our Facebook page that is Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia. Woman, thank you so much. You're welcome, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're Powerful. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye-bye, everybody.